with Terry Rozier and Josh Richardson out for the next few weeks, the Miami Heat are shorthanded when it comes to a ball handling guard. Should the Miami Heat potentially sign a former player to a 10-day contract to alleviate those needs? Welcome back to the Team to Beat Miami Heat basketball channel. My name is Amir. Before I get into the video today, I just want to thank everybody for their continued support. It really means a lot to me. So if you could please subscribe to the channel. I'm on my path to a thousand subscribers. So thank you again. So the Miami Heat are shorthanded once again. And we know that Terry Rozier is lucky to have not injured his knee severely. And he might be back potentially after the All-Star break. So he might be out for the next few weeks, which is great news. Josh Richardson who was essentially our backup point guard, who wasn't handling the ball too much, but he was more of a wing point of attack defender and three point scorer for us. You know, he's also going to be out with a dislocated shoulder for probably a month. So the Miami Heat are shorthanded. We're stuck with just having basically Tyler Hero as one of our only guards available and Duncan Robinson as a shooting guard. But we don't have a true point guard on this roster. We never truly did, honestly, after we traded Kyle Lowry. So Kyle has always been the only true point guard on our roster so right now we need some help in that area we know that jimmy butler's out for personal reasons and when he comes back when terry's out he's going to definitely handle the ball more possibly bam at a bio will maybe jaime Hawkes, and maybe we'll experiment again with jovic as our point forward uh, which could be kind of cool but anyway there is a player that is retired technically um but possibly someone that the Miami Heat could bring back. Not saying it's a good idea or that we should, but just a thought. So Goran Dragic, obviously, former all-star guard with the Miami Heat and the leader of Slovenia, Slovenia's national team, who won the Euro Cup back in 2017, announced his retirement this year in December. So uh, Dragic spent 15 seasons in the NBA. He played for seven different teams. Those teams were the Suns, Rockets, Bulls, uh, the Nets, the Bucks, the Heat, Toronto Raptors and of course the Miami Heat. He was part of an all NBA team in 2013 2014 season and he was also voted the league's most improved player and of course he was a one time all star with the Miami Heat back in 2018 where he had obviously a career year. So Drogic is now 37 years old. He's been out of the NBA for a year and a half or so and he has retired because no one else was willing to give him uh, an opportunity. He wanted to sign with the Heat this offseason, but we weren't able to sign him because we were assuming that we were going to trade for Damian Lillard and wouldn't really necessarily need his services. But now, obviously, we've missed out on Dame and we signed Drew Smith um, in house and gave him a standard contract and he got hurt towards ACL at the beginning of the season and now we trade a Kyle Lowry for Terry Rozier and he's hurt so you know the Miami Heat don't seem to be desperate at this point and we still have a roster spot for a bio candidate but we were supposed to address our lack of front court size and our inability to rebound effectively against other teams so we were hoping to get a Thad Young Danilo Gallinari or someone else that was taller and who could spread the floor essentially. But right now we might have to use one of those spots for a backcourt piece. And I don't think we do necessarily. I still think we hold out and possibly sign like a Gallinari because Thad Young just signed with the Suns today. So that might not be an option, but I think we're not going to be able to sign a Corey Joseph or a Patty Mills or an Ish Smith who are possibly available to a 10 day contract. I don't think they would want that necessarily and those guys could plug in the hole until terry comes back and josh comes back but i think Drogic is someone you could possibly sell on a 10-day contract so he's not taking up a standard roster spot and i think the only reason we would think about this is just because we just want someone as a stopgap for a couple weeks until terry comes back and he's someone that would take very little money and again would possibly do a 10-day contract and he is a, a former leader on this team and could bring that energy that Kevin Love brought last season when we bought him out um, after the trade deadline. And who knows, we could in introduce that spirit back on the bench. He could play kind of that Udonis Hazram role. And of course, he could play maybe 10 to 12 minutes 
off the bench per game and you know he's still capable of scoring a little bit um he averaged around seven points a game after playing only nine minutes or ten minutes per game so not much opportunity when he was playing with the the raptors and then the bucks of course or even the bulls excuse me and we saw his uh usage rate and points and assists and all that go down but who knows he's familiar with the system he's a hometown favorite he still lives in miami miami and has his house here and, and loves the Miami Heat. He's obviously a lifer. So why not take a possible chance and offer a 10-day contract? I wouldn't give a standard roster spot for Goran Dragic, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think it would be nice to bring Gogi back and just have him on the bench to support the team, essentially, and play that Udonis Haslam OG veteran role and someone that could also handle the rock and be that, I guess, floor general for us off the bench. Because I think ultimately it's going to be Jimmy, maybe even a little bit of Tyler, and maybe Point Jovic. We'll see. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Do you think this is a crazy idea? Would you guys be open to it? We'll see. Thanks for watching, guys.